All right, I'm a little confused, Brock, because honestly, if you look around here, there's a lot of old buildings. Doesn't look normal, Kyle. There's farm animals. I mean, where are we? I think the appropriate question is, when are we? All right. Gentlemen, George Whitaker. To answer your question, sir, it is the fall of 1836. 1836? You better believe it. We gassed up the time machine. On this episode of HHM TV, we're at Connor Prairie. You're going to want to join us. Okay, so we're at Connor Prairie, as we've stated earlier, and we are in front of the historic William Connor House. Kyle, who's our special guest today? That's right, guys. Connor Prairie. This place is amazing. We are with Keith Harshbarger. He's a social media specialist here at Connor Prairie. All right, Keith, so at Connor Prairie, if someone's never visited this amazing place, give us an overview. What, what's it all about? Sure. Well, Connor Prairie is a living history museum, uh, one of the first Smithsonian affiliates in Indiana. Um, there's a lot to do here. Um, we have tons of school tours, tons of kids and families come through. Um, coming up, since it's the fall, we have our corn maze. Rock, I don't know where we are. It's not that way. I told you we should have taken a left way back over there. I said left. We went right. Yes, we have Headless Horseman, which is a fun attraction for families and a new uh, festival this winter called the Mary Prairie Holiday. Um, we actually have the Reynolds lights coming to that uh, with tons of activities, uh, Santa's workshop, other elements like that. And throughout the year, we have tons of different programs and festivals that uh, families can come to and enjoy. Yeah, absolutely. And so, Connor Prairie is kind of divided up into three distinct time periods, right? Tell us a little bit about that. Sure. Well, right now we're um, near the William Connor House and that took place in the early 1800s. But uh, one of the main areas is Prairie Town, which is in 1836, and that has a lot of different people from that time period walking around, talking to you, um, telling you about that time period. Hello, ma'am, how are you today? Good day to you, sir. I was wondering, can you tell me where I could find some ration, salt, whiskey, and such? Well, I never exactly thought of whiskey as a ration, but everything you require is here in the Whitaker store. Perfect, thank you. And then um, just on the other side of that is 1863 Civil War Journey, where you can experience DuPont, Indiana, and um, the Civil War. And then we have the 1859 Balloon Voyage, which um, we'll go up in. All right, so we're 300 feet up in the air right now in the balloon at Connor Prairie. What do you think? So Brock's a little nervous right now, but that's okay. Hey, so theoretically, if the cable were to snap, the helium would just take us off in the atmosphere? Dude, why'd you ask that, man? It's like, uh, it's pretty incredible. Pretty stunning views. This is one of four balloons like this in the country. Really unique experience. If you come down here, you're definitely going to want to check it out. Now, Keith, one of the things that I think is special for kids in particular is all the hands-on activities and, and some of the things that you can actually make and take away. Talk a little bit about that. Sure. Well, like you said, we have make and takes uh, over in Treetop. They can build a little toy box. They can dip candles over in Lenape. They can make bead bracelets. And inside we have the Makesmith Workshop where they can make uh, any number of things uh, with real tools. And it's a very hands-on experience. And so you mentioned the Treetops. That's a fairly new uh, thing that you guys have going, right? Yeah. Yeah, it's been here uh, a few years now. It's a four-story treehouse out in the woods on our property, um, making use of the whole wooded area. Um, it's a big, expansive uh, area that has a, a trail behind it that leads out to an overlook uh, part of our property, and kids really like it. One of the really cool things about Connor Prairie that we've learned too is the amount of land that they have. A thousand acres, is that correct? Yeah, over a thousand acres. And we only really utilize under a hundred of it for all the stuff that you guys can see here. But um, we're working on, we have a big 20-year uh, plan to kind of activate a lot of the area around here. So Connor Prairie is going to always change and provide more for folks to come and see, right? It's not a static uh, presentation, if you will. No, yeah. Traditionally, we've been about history, but we also have um, a foot in the present and we're looking to the future always. So we're creating, trying to create a lot of different um, experiences that not only cover history, but help people learn about where that might take us from there. Great. Right. 
Well, Keith, thanks so much for sure. joining us, telling us, and, yeah. and showing us Connor Appreciate Prairie it. today. Thank you, Thank you for watching. Uh, for HHM TV, I'm Brock East Kyle. We'll see you next time. All right, so there's another episode of HHM TV in the books. We've enjoyed our time immensely out here at Connor Prairie. Wait a second. Whoa. Whoa. Hold on. Stop. What do you got in the box? What's going on? Well, at the Craftsman Workshop place at the treetop, we had made boxes, and inside one of the boxes is a little giveaway like we normally do. Like we normally do. What do you got in there? Let's see what we got. Oh, we got looks like some tickets of some sort. Oh, two tickets to the Merry Prairie Holiday, complimentary two tickets. And what do you got to do to win these? Like always, gang, we want you to like our page, like Connor Prairie, share this video, and tag a friend that you're going to come to the Merry Prairie Holiday with right here. You could be a big winner. Big winner. Excuse me, ma'am. Uh, what is the phone number for this place? I'm sorry, I, I don't understand your question. Phone. Is, is that some sort of sketch pad, sir? It's a... Uh, never mind.